good evening good evening and good, good morning friends uh, sorry for the last uh, three four sessions uh, due to unavailability i could not uh, take up the session uh, today what i uh, do is i'll take one uh, new concept uh, uh, i'll give you some introduction about peri hana ux strategies and uh, sap a5 uh, related uh, uh, concepts okay after this we will uh, go for a regular sessions like uh, uh, we'll discuss uh, uh, what are the pending about the pending sessions and at the same time uh, we'll discuss about any doubts and clarification session i'll everything i'll take okay uh, today just i want to make, make sure that uh, you are clear about uh, pre related concepts because if you are going for any s4 hana interviews uh, they they should be minimum requirement expected by interviewer that you must aware of query related concept s4 hana is not not a stand alone system s4 hana front end is query back end is hana development hana db development if you are working as s4 hana consultant with a team you might be uh, worked on some query related objects otherwise you must have supported query consultant on the back end activities or front end activities so if you want to support any query consultant consultant you need to have some knowledge related to query concept what is the query what is the ui5 what is the old data what is the ux strategies like query ui5 old data gateway services these are different terminologies people will think everything is same query it is not like that okay there are different uh, concepts for uh, different activities okay so uh, there are different skill set needed for uh, different types of programming uh, we are going to discuss about these are all topics okay any queries uh, geeta and uh, srini are you practicing okay good yes, okay this is this is very important uh, topic uh, please concentrate if you if you got any queries just uh, uh, let me know it is like introduction topic uh, today whatever you are discussing later we'll go for road data services development i'll i'll show you how to develop a query app and web ad these are all concepts we are going to discuss further okay what is query what is efi what is the gateway services these are all different different topics okay so first first before going to efi or query you have to know about sap user experience sap user experience sap ux strategy sap ux strategies are there okay by sap concentrating more on ux rather than before if you talk about 5 to 10 years back sap never concentrate about the user interface and user experience okay if you see we witness a rigid blue screens like there is lot of complaint from every customer and client that your screens are very confusing okay to create a sales order we have to train at least uh four to five days to create a customer master we have to uh, try and at least one or two days okay this is the main complaint we are getting by clients and one more client complaint is okay you are showing the uh, material master creation it's okay but there are hundreds of fields which are we are not using okay so why you unnecessary keeping that screen at uh, the screens as well as uh, fields so they last please remove that and uh, give me clean screen with a single screen screen material creation uh, material creation screen with a single flow okay i don't want to go for here and there uh, in uh, some screens i enter one one tra only one one entry some screens without entering the any data just you, i have to enter and skip why i have to go go these are all activities okay 
and uh, same times they will ask okay uh, what is the consultant answer in this in this regards we we'll say sir this is a standard sap screen we cannot do any any changes if you want to take a, do any changes you have to go for uh, entire customization which is not uh, recommended otherwise you have to hide fields by taking access key if you take access key sap will not support further something we will try to convince and then what, what uh core team will say please hide whatever is not required okay otherwise if you cannot hide please ex explain me each field so you are saying it is not relevant to my business it is relevant to is utilities it is relevant to is retail something so let me know about that field then i'll decide is it relevant to me or not you are not a decided factor person so you have to tell me what is the importance of the field based upon the uh, 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 your exp uh, explanation i'll decide is required to keep as a mandatory or not this type of discussions we'll see regularly so now if you see the entire market entire industry now user experience is in a peak is entirely got changed previously if you want to buy anything you used to go to shop and you used to buy now directly from your mobile okay palm no need to uh, open your system also directly from your location your place you, uh, wherever you are okay anywhere any 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 okay you can do do from your your own mobile okay in companies also they are having strategies like byod bring your own device okay official activities also you can able to do from your own devices okay so the world is changing customer consumer user experience is the new standard the success of any product or any software is depend upon the how much simplified user experience you are giving to the client so how to achieve this so what is the user experience user experience is a it is not a showing very colorful screens user experience not not a showing very colorful screens but it is how much simplified you are simplification you are doing your process okay you are giving very colorful and elegant screens but if it is not user friendly there is no use so you are seeing some apps but it is very difficult to handle it first you have to log in and again you have to click somewhere again you have to click somewhere and you have to select the item again you have to enter your details something like that there are some five to six screens should be some other apps if you go for some apps if you click select whatever you want to do just uh, uh, click on at least within two three two to three screens you can finish the task so the most successful apps having simplified process that is the main key for the success of any app so and user experience is a critical factor for success in the customer business okay so if you want to success in a business you have to make your simplified user experience okay user interface what is user interface user interface it is not a like uh, showing the beautiful screens beyond that okay okay user interface must be some features like a available anywhere desktop laptop and uh, mobile anywhere you have to access elegant look and feel should be 
proper like colorful and future proof suppose uh, like different versions are there if you take uh, android different versions are releasing every quarter or every half year and uh, ios also ios 6 7 like whenever software where up, upgrades are there our soft our app should be future proof okay without updations it should support our future our latest versions as well as old versions okay and cost effective it should be cost effective open okay consistent across the all the products okay everywhere like all the mobiles desktops see if you yes okay if you see this one uh, personalization like if you want to change your mo uh, like color everything you have to be is this this should be supported by the app so here we are avoiding the blue screens we are trying to make more effective user experience okay there is the sap strategy called user experience strategy new red new enable new red new enable what is the new new is like this type of process is not available before okay sap designed the new process and new okay new process and new user interface if you talk about jam jam is the social uh, collaborative software uh, collaborative uh, product it is like a facebook and linkedin okay it is almost like a uh, facebook and linkedin you can, you can uh, connect to your customers vendors employees and everything my case circles so it, it is one of the product like uh, jam jam is the one of the sap product so this is a newly introduced by sap this, this type of process are not there and fact sheets okay uh, th there are so many fact sheets and business graphics these are all process are not there before new process got introduced as well as new user interface got introduced okay if you talk about renew the process is already available if you talk about review process is already available like sales order creation sales order tracking sales order creation some transition is there sales order tracking some transition is there sales order approval you can uh, get the main business workplace from there you can uh, approve okay uh, leave request there is space places leave application and leave uh, approval rejection okay everything is possible in the system okay now these processes previously we are doing with the transactions and uh, uh, business workplace now we are trying to avoid that we are trying to make this all with the field okay So, renew means like your process leave request these are all process are there just you are designing with the periods previously with the transactions and uh, business workplace like workflows now you design the this is the renew apps this is the concept of renew apps are introduced okay so if you talk talk about enable there is a concept of screen personas screen personas no need to do any redesign here entire we done entire coding with the redesign entire screens everything is redesigned but 
skin personas no need to go for any redesign just you have to or uh, do some html tags if you go with some html tags you can able to design the skin personas okay just if possible i'll show you some demo uh, uh, how to uh, there are flower concept is there uh, flower and screens we can hide uh, highlight a anything you can do okay that also just i'll try to uh, show some scenario you can get understand okay screen person okay main what is the main advantage main uh, features okay okay why we need to go for you uh, uh, user experience you i feel okay gain productivity so if you simplify work productivity also will work it is the user adoption so see if you if you talk about facebook and linkedin the bank accounts anybody giving training no just by seeing this in, in instruction you can able to do your coding and everything okay same thing so increase user adoption uh, this if, if it is simplified so previously uh, screens are very rigid it is very uh, difficult to understand the process now uh, user experience got very, very much simplified now decrease the errors obviously no errors will come because previously there are uh, 200 300 fields are there, there which are not necessary now we are compressed to 10 to 20 uh, which are uh, required so if they enter the data that's more than enough okay now it will save the training cards everybody know so uh, there is no training required for uh, uh, simplified applications like uh, creating a bank account and creating a facebook account charting on the facebook these are all you can learn within seconds okay so here also whenever screens are very simplified and whatever required fields are there those fields are available it, it, it won't take okay now are you clear user experience user experience uh, if you in, in interviews if they ask about user experience new renew enable this is the ux strategy sap ux strategy is new renew enable just you talk about that okay now fearing what is the fearing okay what is the uh, fiery technology so fiery fiery is the sap ux strategy okay it is a new phase of sap Okay, fee is a new phase of SAP and uh, new uh, experience, user experience for, for SAP clients. Okay, so okay, so it, it can be deployed with the all devices like the laptop, desktop. Uh, mobiles anywhere it, it will be compatible okay so what is the theory design principles so if you go for theory uh, i'll give you more exp explanation about the theory theory is a collection of apps don't confuse theory and efi efi is a language which is uh, used for developing in the theory okay Fiery is a collection of apps. Okay, a collection of apps with a simple, easy to use, consumer-grade user experience for the 
broadly and frequently used SAP software. Okay, further no desktops like here. The concept of feed is it's a collection of apps. Feed is there. There are uh, uh, S400, 7000 plus apps are available. Whatever apps you want, you have to adopt it. One minute. Uh, there are some disturbances. Let, let me check my system. There are some disturbances coming. Audio. Let me check. Is it okay now? I correct it. Okay. Any doubt till now, uh, Srini and uh, uh, Geeta? So maybe if you have experience, it is good. If you don't have experience, don't confuse with Fiery, UA5, and the uh, data. These are all just Fiery is a front end product. Okay, so that is a product which is designed with the UA5 front end applications, and back end application will be OData and gateway services. Okay. It is a collection of apps. So you can coherent across the all the enterprises. Like suppose you have you are a finance manager. So you can have finance related apps. Okay. And you can have uh, um, time related like HR related apps. Like if you want to approve time request, otherwise uh, if you want to request for uh, leave, anything, all activities, HR related uh, apps will be there. 
CRM related apps and procurement. If you want to create a PRM for your procurement, these are all apps you can assign to your launch pad. Okay, based on the role. Okay, app level you can do or roles. Roles you can design. Okay. So if you talk about the feed design principles, role based, responsive, simple, coherent, and instant value. This already we discussed the same strategies. Here, role based means whenever you want to assign some app to your customer, like uh, employee. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to assign, like you already know about uh, uh, authorizations. Okay, authorizations, we, we create a roles, okay, PFC roles, that roles will be assigned to the employees based on that uh, user it is based on that you can able to see that. Here also in the same way, okay, here will assign the roles. There are standard roles are there, like a employee role, manager role, and uh, human resource role. There are different roles are there. If they want, I can configure the same roles. Otherwise, I can go with the new roles. Okay, so, PD Launchpad. What is the PD Launchpad? PD Launchpad is a a place where you can see the apps. Like if you if you work on the ESS, the ESS is a logon page. So just logon page, it, it which will use it for uh, logon to your uh, ESS system, ESS MSS system. Now here, if you talk about Launchpad, Launchpad is the collection of apps where you can configure the collection of apps, and is a real time and personalized so real time is some apps like fact sheets uh, like uh, some apps we will get data regularly every uh, five minutes data will be updated so that data you have to see so just Okay, so now this is the app launchpad. So I'll show you everything I'll show you in the system. Don't worry. See this one. Okay, this is the launchpad. Actually, we most of cases uh, we will assign standard roles, standard roles like like uh, for uh, sales order. Okay, uh, sales applications are uh, these are all uh, activities and it was still if you required any customization. Okay, we can create your own roles and you can assign that uh, custom request to that role. Okay, if you if you want to develop any web ID applications. Okay, so V is a collection of apps, collection of apps which are developed based upon the CSS and HTML tags. Okay, coming to NetWeaver Gateway Services. So before that, okay, UFI is a long way. We already discussed about UFI. UFI is a long way. They, there will be set of uh, libraries, UFI libraries, UFI SAP dot M dot uh, uh, There are different uh, UFI libraries are there. Like if you remember, if you remember in C, if you want to add any further functionality, include math dot H, okay, in include studio dot H something. So here, here while developing any app, we have to do front end with the 
and our studio are eclipse based too okay this is the concept i'll explain you in detail okay uh, webid is the uh, tool which is used for uh, developing of the uh, apps okay netweaver gateway services scgw okay or vodata services what is this exactly okay if we talk about this concept sap netweaver concept sap netweaver gateway scgw this concept is entirely related to abap abap coding so for this no need of uh, any further training if you are expert in uh, object oriented that's more than enough Okay, coming to deployment options. See, Vodata is like a VDPC for web. If you talk about VDPC for web, if you go to Google and if you searching for anything, you you uh, see like uh, equal to uh, so Google. If you are searching for Hana, Google dot com uh, search equal to uh, in quotations Hana. something some you are inside url you are, you are going to see some query like uh, query type of a uh, uh, thing it also gives you the same thing order term is odbc on web it, it will generate a query uh, with the url uh, we will call that query based on that we will get the input or output Okay. Now, session. I am going to show you how to create more data services with the SCGW transaction, and uh, how to handle URLs, more data URLs. Like how to get the data, and uh, there are different methods are there. CRUD, CRUD operations, create, uh, read, update, delete. How to handle CRUD operations with more uh, data services? We are going to discuss. Okay. If you talk about free deployment options, there are two types of deployments are available: embedded deployment and central app. If you talk about embedded deployment, both backend system and frontend system. Okay, both systems will be in the same environment. Okay, but if you talk about central app. back end is separate server front end is separate server you can connect back end and front end with the rfc connections this is a this is a transaction scgw using scgw transaction we can able to uh, create this o data services okay. are you clear srini and uh, geeta do you have uh, any knowledge on uh, this concepts previous to this uh, introduction geeta have you no, do you now what you what you got uh, what concept you understand by this uh, uh, part immunization uh, can, can you uh, explain uh, what, what, what is your uh, perception on this what is ux strategy ux strategy uh, is it free ua5 and uh, old data service everything is same is it any different you have got any understanding on this What is the difference between UX and UI? If, 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 if. 
they may ask, okay, you are you are saying you are working on uh, uh, SAP S4 HANA for the, so many uh, months or years. So uh, let me know what is the difference between SAP UX and SAP UA. What is the difference between UX and UA? UX is the user experience. Uh, and UI where we are providing uh, various kind of inputs or whatever the, based on the user's requirement or role or task. Whatever the user interface we are providing to them, that is a UI. Exactly, exactly. You user. user interface. UI is the user interface. UX is a user experience strategy. SAP is designed a strategy. What are the different levels on that strategy? There are three levels. New, renewed, and enabled. It, yeah. Do you got a difference between the new, renew, and enable? What is, what is the new? concept uh, conceptual wise as a new yeah new which is not at existing till now and we are when we give something new provide providing new kind of app or new existing with process no, no. also not existing process also not only mm -hmm. design process also mm -hmm. not existing like jam like a collaborative network there is no such activity previously okay so we designed entire product newly okay what is renew uh, uh, if you are making a facelift of existing uh, uh, anything already app or any whatever the uh, thing. exactly very good so the process is already available like a leave request leave approval leave a reject or something you got a sales letter tracking or a sales letter creations or something these are all processes are available okay but you want to redesign the user experience user interface so for the simplification yeah, previously for the for the simple previously you are going with web and pro applications for ESS, MSS. otherwise uh, you are going with the uh, business workplace if you want to uh, approve any type of uh, request like a sales order or pivo release or pr release this is all you are doing with your uh, business work workspace, uh, SAP logout. So this you is workflow. Uh, workflow you are talking about? Yeah, workflow. Workflow here in both places. Workflow is there. I'm talking about business workplace where you you see the messages. Okay. Business workflow. You you, you are clear, right? Business workplace. SW. What is the time? I didn't uh, re recollect like if you click on business workplace, it is like inbox, uh, in, inbox, outbox will come. So yeah, just like outlook, outlook of SAP, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, something, something like uh, uh, you can able to see. This is our SAP mails, not external mails. Only SAP mails will able to see uh, based upon user ID. Uh, so these are all replaced with the new designed theories apps. Okay. Okay. Fear is a concept. Fear is a concept. Okay. It is not a language. It is not a backend language. It is not a front end language. So as a theory consultant, we need to like uh, uh, from thousands of apps, whichever is uh, suitable for the uh, design, whatever is done for that to uh, put in the uh, exactly, interface. Exactly. They, if, uh, if there is something, if there is something missing, uh, we need to go for. Uh, we need to have an idea of UI file so that we can do that HTML code and put that uh, field into the uh, whatever exactly. the app. That, that, is, that is that is called theory extension. There are two mm -hmm. concepts: theory extension and theory scratch development. If you want to extend, you need to do backend extension and front end extension. Okay, backend. O data services will be there. O data services is nothing but ABAP code. Okay. O data services extension, you may uh, have some baddies for that. Using baddies, you can do extension. Uh, front end, you have to go for HTML code change. Okay. HTML or JavaScript code change, you have to do for the front end uh, uh, enhancement. Extension. That is called extension, not enhancement. Fury extension. Okay. So now uh, it is not uh, whatever uh, standard of uh, apps are there. It is not relevant for our business. So you have to go for the scratch development. 
okay if you want to go for scratch development you have to create your own wo data services with scgw there you have to put all your business logic in, in into that okay the, after that wo data service will have input and output parameter so after getting that okay so the, these are all uh, concepts uh, designing you will do uh, for back end and front end designing and uh, based on that new apps are so new apps are extension app both can be possible okay that is one concept now in theory uh, how to when you we are, we are third, third step what is that enable yeah enable enable concept is the concept is old and user screens also old user interface also old only we are not redesigning here entire code you are redesigning fiery previously web dev pro code is there now fiery javascript code is there but enable we are not changing the code just you are doing some enablement like some additions with the html see if you see this user uh, related concept this this like previously sap normal screens are there now these screens can be converted to look and feel like a website or something so for this there is no extensive code is required just html tags just i have you are creating a banner in the same way you have a html tags which html tags you can you can develop this this is called screen personas so enable directly as the meaning says uh, like uh, earlier it's only enabled to desktop level now it is enabled to uh, smartphone level and uh, something like no smartphone again uh, this no no smartphone uh, i'm smart, and i'm telling a smartphone and uh, other levels it is it is uh, the application is enabled to the other gadgets instead of only confined no, no. to and th th that is that is there but here it is like look and feel suppose th there are uh, 20 fields are there okay that whatever fields are not required you can have you can delete from uh, uh, screen personas you can remove that uh, screens and you, you add a, a company logo and a company a branding you can do okay it is not like a screen personas uh, will only supported by mo it, it is mostly screen personas are user friendly applications which can do in desktops okay screen personas uh, which is uh, which which is not recommended in uh, mobiles uh, just screen personas are recommended in tablet tablets or uh, desktops so mobiles also you can, you can do screen personas with without logging to sap you can able to do this raw activities okay. yeah so personalizing of the screens yeah personalizing of the screens with the logo and everything yes look at there, there, there is a concept called flavors flavors okay i'll explain you flower concept is there using that flower like, like Today we are discussing about one after one, uh, like uh, just uh, theoretically. Uh, tomorrow onwards, I will start with uh, all data services, entire practical. Okay. So, and uh, be, uh, this weekend, whatever pending, so we will streamline our course, whatever uh, pending things are there. Uh, before all data, is it okay for uh, uh, having uh, uh, that uh, just to overview on uh, OOPS concept and then go for data? Is it yes, okay? Sure. Uh, the, this weekend 100% uh, will go for uh, object oriented so uh, like uh, unexpectedly i uh, engaged in uh, this uh, uh, this project yes, uh, so I, this is over, this is over. Uh, everything is done i'm back to my uh, current place so from today onwards i am free no. is, is everything went to free uh, went to cool and uh, the hiccups are everything we faced in the deployment no, no, yes. Actually, I'll, I'll share with you some documentation on, only for uh, you team. Uh, I think uh, uh, Gita, you are from uh, uh, 
uh, your uh, international products only you are handling, right? You are not uh, done any global, uh, like you are from uh, US, uh, EST, right? Okay, uh, Geeta is not required. Uh, she is from uh, uh, global uh, environment. So, uh, if you, uh, you, you are working in uh, multiple, right? Uh, domestic as well as global. So, you may require uh, some, uh, uh, it, it will be useful for you about GST. Okay. As a, as just implementing of notes only. So, I'll, I'll give you on documentation. If you go through, you, you can get uh, some idea. Okay, good. Thank you. you can share that with me also. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Actually, it is a uh, only uh, uh, not yearly uh, throughout career one time activity. Like this type of activities won't come uh, regular. Like only the thing is uh, uh, the experience is generally go live will happen for one client or two clients. Okay, this time I as a lead I uh, we gone live for twenty clients at a time. See. Like that, that is the main uh, challenge. Pre, if you go for any go live, we have only one client to handle, so you can manage them. But 20 clients at a time uh, going live is a very a critical task. Same activity for uh, 20 different clients. Uh, like customizations are different based upon their business. Uh, so that I'll I'll share. It, it is mostly SAP defined everything. Uh, go for this road. Nothing. Previously, taxation taxation is seen. You you heard about sin, a company a country India. Like every country have their own taxation. So previously there are taxes like uh, service tax, uh, C G S C E L, commercial tax. There are different tax uh, codes are there. Now everything is replaced with single tax code. So for that, they, there are a lot of uh, configuration required from SD and uh, MM FI teams. And from, from our uh, technical point of view, you have to add some more screens, some more fields in the screens. SAP is uh, given uh, as per notes. What are the manual corrections you have to do? Based on that, you have to go for some manual corrections uh, uh, with the access keys. And uh, you have to, so again, uh, whatever smart forms are there, there you have to add a GST code. Previously, it is a different a tax code are different. Now you have to enter each company GST code. So TIN number is there, TIN number, uh, CST number is there previously, commercial tax number. Now it is a GST number. At the same time, every vendor have the, their unique, unique uh, GST number. They have to upload with the BDC because uh, and previously they have uh, tan number and uh, other numbers now we have to the thing is everything is uh, uh, electronically clearance how uh, uh, like in india uh, if you are doing the tax uh, for pan uh, tds will be there tax reduction at source at the end of the suppose you, you are working for uh, uh, as a consultant uh, they will deduct and they, they will give you the uh, tax form tds form so tds if you submit whatever tds you paid that will be converted to income tax and uh, if you require to pay anything additionally you have to pay if you, if you want to get refund you will refund now this also happening in the same way so these are all taxes they will give the certificate if you want to get refund if you submit to the tax consultant uh, they will uh, give submission they will give refund and uh, something so it is also be, became automation. Uh, there is a lot of transparency uh, will come due to this. Uh, previously, there are a uh, lot of manual work is there uh, for uh, taxation uh, uh, from government side. Now everything is uh, automated. That is the main task. Clear? So uh, coming to our uh, regular uh, concept of theory and uh, this one, this is very important. I'll share you some documentation. So. You cannot, uh, in this PD, you cannot get expertise because this uh, this course, I cannot uh, take a full-fledged end-to-end PD concept. Actually, we are, I'm, uh, we are planning to start one uh, special course on uh, PD and HANA. There, we are going to discuss HTML, CSS, uh, 
related stuff and Node.js and how to handle with HANA, HANA XSJS, extensively XSJS applications and uh, uh, native uh, Fiery apps and interactive Fiery apps, uh, offline uh, Fiery apps. These, these are all we got experience. So these concepts uh, we are planning to start one course. I let you know within 15 days to one month we are planning that course that is also very helpful for your career okay this is in our course we are entirely concentrating on application development uh, with the ABAP in other course we are going to front-end development that is pure s4 HANA development this is ABAP HANA uh, Fiery and HANA is pure s4 HANA development it will become like most of 90 percent of uh, SAP screens currently using on Fiery and future development also mostly in the Fiery. Okay. Clear? So this is the concept, uh, Fiery concept. I'll share you some documentation. And coming to the Fiery apps, there are three types of apps are there. Transactional app, analytical app, fact sheets. Transactional apps means creating a sales adder, creating a purchase adder, some reports or everything. The transaction app will work on any DP. Okay, if you take uh, HANA DP or Oracle DP, any DP it will work. Analytical and fact sheet it will work on only HANA DP. Okay, in a new course, I'm more concentrating on HANA DP related analytical and fact sheet. How to configure and how to deploy it and how to do extension how to convert uh, direct web services with O data, how to convert web services with access JS and access O data. In this course also, I'll give you some introduction, but uh, separate course, I'll uh, explain in more detail. Okay, so these are the roles. Like uh, if you take a finance, account payable, account receivable, and uh, HR, human resources, manager, employee, each role will have different different authorizations UFA is a SAP uh, your entering library uh, there is a toolkit SD, SDK toolkit uh, Fiery on demand dot com one the site is there there you can see all the examples all the uh, code if you want to create a switch code is there source code everything is available just you have to copy paste only clear any doubts Okay, tomorrow uh, I'll discuss about uh, like uh, tomorrow anyway, Friday. Uh, uh, what, what I do is uh, we'll discuss about the pending concept. Like we have to streamline how much you completed, what are the pending things. And day after tomorrow, I'll take uh, object oriented and more data. Okay, actually, uh, there is only two of us from both are from India, only, so I think uh, we can uh, have a session some weekend also. EP is okay for you, and uh, basically, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, weekend will have we'll have a uh, normal Geeta. You are from EST, right? IST, she's she from Chennai, IBM. Okay, 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 no issues. So, no issues. Uh, uh, weekend, weekend will uh, spare more time, and uh, like th th that is better for me. Like uh, rather than odd times, if you if you pair like uh, afternoon or uh, morning eleven something at that time, it will be more convenient for us. Okay. Yeah. I like just check with yeah you check with Geeta and you say your convenience and I am okay with any time. Uh, so based on that, we can cover up on weekend. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll. Yeah. Uh, yeah suppose okay. Monica and Irfan is there. That time they are from US, so timings are odd for us to sync yeah, both they, of us. They, they are coming. They are coming for other batch. They are coming for other batch. Uh, so okay. they are joining to other batch. Uh, so, uh, Gita, do one thing. Uh, please share your contact. Uh, like otherwise, uh, you send me WhatsApp to my number. I hope you have my number. Uh, I will forward her if she is. She is. She is there in touch with me in WhatsApp. 
Okay. So, just uh, you, you, you share my uh, you share her WhatsApp number. Uh, yeah. So I'll I'll uh, we'll plan and uh, based upon that we'll. Uh, so there, there is then uh, we, uh, most of uh, activities will uh, complete in uh, this weekend. Okay. We we'll sit for more time. Uh, so. We'll, okay. Yeah. Yes, Okay, guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, Vikram. Thank you. Geeta, are you available this weekend, Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, I'm available. Hello? Yeah, I'm available. Okay, sure. Then uh, uh, we will plan for uh, normal timing, afternoon or uh, morning uh, timing. And uh, uh, like uh, it is not like art morning or evening, uh, like early morning, not uh, late evening. Uh, mid uh, afternoon, like 11 o'clock or something, we will plan. So that will be more convenient for us. Can uh, uh, plan for more uh, things. Okay, I'll let you know. Just uh, send me WhatsApp message. Uh, we'll plan uh, and we'll we'll see. Okay. Uh, otherwise, Srini, you create a group, uh, three of us, uh, so we can plan accordingly. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.